Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee, a few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy while having your coffee. Well, an exciting episode this time. Uh, we're near Krakow in Poland on the site of the construction of the new northern bypass to the city. Now what we're doing is we're verifying uh, the new parameters for the T-value method for working platforms with the new Tensar Interax GeoGrid. Uh, it's very important to do this sort of full-scale validation. Uh, you know, there are always uncertainties in ground engineering, no matter how careful we are with the derivation of the calculations, we must always go out and do full-scale validation. So let's just wander over here, Brian. Uh, first of all, there's the, uh, the new uh, Tensar Interax uh, GeoGrid. Um, that uh, we've installed in here into this uh, little trial platform. If we go, if I go down into this trench here, we can get a little look at the subgrade that's down here. So where it hasn't dried out, we've got uh, a cohesive subgrade. It um, uh, feels like um, a silt and clay, but I can press my thumb into there. So it's uh, probably a firm subgrade. We've done, we've done the, the testing on it, so we'll get the, uh, the proper parameters for the strength, but it's, it's certainly suitable for this sort of test. The sort of conditions where you would need a, a working platform for, for piling uh, plum. Now, to verify this, we need a large plate load test. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute, but what you see around you is all the, um, the reaction frame that's needed in order to apply the load. So in order to push a plate down, you need to react against something. So we've got CMC columns on the four installed on the four uh, corners of the reaction frame, so they're acting in tension. Uh, but just to give you an idea of uh, how strong um, the mechanically stabilized layer is, we were not able to fail the plate, and we needed to add this extra weight from these concrete slabs on the top um, uh, in order to get enough uh, reaction uh, to, to fail the plate. So let's have a closer look at the, the plate, Brian. Let's go under here. Mind your head. So here you can see the, the circular plate, a one meter circular plate. So it needs to be that big to match typical track widths on piling plum. Uh, it's no good using a, a smaller plate uh, because you're not going to get the depth of influence. It's the width that really matters. So although a piling rig has long tracks, it's the width of the track that really dictates the depth of influence. So that's why we've gone for a one meter uh, circular plate. And this started at the surface, so the test is finished now, and you see how far we had to push it down in order to get bearing capacity failure, and we can see some heave around the edges as well. So it's, it's no good just doing these tests to working load. We're, we're verifying an ultimate limit state design here, so we need to be 100% sure that we've got the safety margins that we need in the design. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.